10 years ago this week, Microsoft launched the Affordable Access Initiative, which invested in infrastructure to bring internet to the 4 billion people who didn't have access. One of the big tech pushes was bringing the internet and web services to previously underserved markets. So Google in 2015 launched uh, what they called its next billion users initiative. And these are people who may not have a good solid internet connection. Part of that was offering free Wi-Fi at Indian train stations. They also had a project that was called Project Loon. This is like big weather balloons that floated in a specific area. And they're essentially floating mobile towers that people could connect to. This finally launched at scale in 2015. Google made changes to some apps, YouTube uh, maps, so that it could be accessed offline in those countries. It was not just Google and Microsoft. Of course, of course, Facebook was getting into the act. Facebook had this program called internet.org, which sounds really neutral, but it was not. <laughs> that launched in 2014, but it really picked up in 2015 and there's a lot of criticism because basically internet org is like, we're bringing you the internet and it is Facebook. But in 2015, they changed the name to free basics and they started allowing third party developers to have services. Again, these were all handpicked by Facebook. And just to be clear, these were not purely altruistic endeavors from Microsoft and Google and Facebook. This is about expanding into new markets and getting new customers. So 10 years later, it's actually hard to find a lot of information about the status of these projects. Some of them are apparently still at least kind of going. The reality is that mobile data plans have just gotten cheaper and cheaper and more reliable. And so a lot of these programs probably aren't necessary. So the next billion users, they're already there.